I promise not to look at it. Not until after. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It uh, All right. Sound good. Um, <laughs> go, go ahead. Plot away. Plot away. <laughs> this is our uh, pre-game players strategy session with food. Yes. Food is a necessity. <laughs> yeah, so we've been all talking about sports. Um, Live. Who, who watched the football game? The um, football. Football? Game. What's that? <laughs> who watched the sports game Does yesterday? Does that have anything to do with football? Yeah. <laughs> I think it I think it started with Blood Bowl. It kind of evolved. It's a spin off of Blood Bowl. It's as close yeah. as we get to actual <laughs> physical activity. Yeah. <laughs> it's exercise for the week. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, Someone's gonna be disappointed when he watches that. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any strategy. I, typically my strategy is like stay behind one of because I'm the warlock, so stay behind one of you guys, the fighters, until I can get in range with my spells and pop out and <laughs> Targus and hope you get something out. Targus has a really good strategy. I do what the voices tell me to do. Targus and it, be it's it's never, never steered me wrong. Ex except for one time they told me to do something that would have killed me and I, just, I didn't do that. But yeah, that, that was good. because I was scared, not because I don't trust the voices. Maybe it would have been a good idea. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine eight ball. <laughs> yeah. So we previously we were talking about because uh, we're in, the, in this deal with the drow, uh, so we're trying to figure out a way to get out of it on top because they're probably going to kill us when we've outlived our usefulness. Probably. And I I'd like to get out of it somehow, but I I don't see it going well for us right now. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking logically. If we help the drow, they will kill us. If we run from the drow, they will kill us. If we betray the drow, they will kill us. So I think our only option is to get a more powerful friend or get the drow <laughs> to turn on each other. And they're both. And, and I think we can do both. And they'll both, both in probably this, get us killed. <laughs> in, this, in this mission, I think we can do both. We, we get the drow to start not trusting each other, maybe think that they might have a chance to turn on each other, and then when we're fighting the paladin, we turn on them. We can do we both. Probably Get a more powerful friend and uh, get them to turn on each other. We have to do it after the paladin's death, though. But I don't know if Tardis Galifax can wait that his long. Honor. Tar he's not <laughs> Tardis the patient. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess not. <laughs> the uh, voices in your head, head have a limited attention span. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes oh, they yeah. just sing show tunes. <laughs> Something is going off. I'm glad that old lady down. I'd encourage you. Oh, am I going? Oh, okay, great. When we last left our heroes, you had just cleared out the um, Chamber of Eyes, which was the uh, hideout of the Red Reaver tribe of goblins, uh, slavers, vicious subterranean slavers. And some of them have fled, but you got the remaining villagers to safety. Uh, under the careful guidance of who was it again? Oh, uh, Pansy. Pansy. Pansy, Pansy the wuss. Oh, yeah. Pansy the wuss. <laughs> okay, great. Adventure extraordinaire. And you've <laughs> met up with uh, a band of three drow. You yeah, have agreed to <laughs> help them recover uh, a sword <laughs> in exchange for magic items, payment up front. And right now you're headed a dark and dangerous way back to uh, the Seven Pillared Hall, which 
Uh, Vel, the head drow, uh, says is sort of an underground city, uh, a neutral ground of the Underdark, which is uh, kept peaceful by a mysterious group of mages. And that's about it. All right, you're going down a particularly narrow and windy section of the Underdark. Your uh, torchlight dimly illuminating the way ahead of you. This is obviously a well-traveled area. Here and there, Velv uh, explains certain features to you. He talks to you about rock formations and, um, you know, uh, cave crickets. And um, a, a short black-robed figure comes into view. It's a goblin. And he is humming some sort of tune to himself. I like and he my has, man meat. <laughs> I like my man meat. I wish it was man meat, but it ain't. It's bat on a stick. And he holds out. It's a black, sharp stick, and it has a bat impaled on it. And he starts to bring it to his mouth, and then he sees you, and he goes... And he takes an arrow in the top. And then he, uh, he drops the stick. What do you do? Well, my arrow's already mid-flight. Um, so you've nailed the poor fleeing goblin in the back of both knees. He falls to the ground, inert. And as your party cautiously approaches, you see him quiver a little bit. And he grabs the stick. That. On a stick. So delicious. Uh. I asked him if he falls up. unconscious. Oh, uh, well, let's wait till he wakes up. Prisoner number two. You can keep him on your back. Okay. Like the Do we really <laughs> have time for this? Says no, we're Bell. gonna take him with us. Hmm. Uh, Nizzle leans up against the edge of the cavern wall, one crossbow lazily in this hand, and he pulls out a small metal file and begins filing his teeth. Stop doing that. Give me the EBGB. So are we ready to go? <laughs> Dizzle's like, you need to get serious. <laughs> and uh, he says, I'm going a little farther up. Yeah, we're coming. And uh, he takes that point behind a uh, rock outcropping with his crossbow aimed down into the darkness. Ooh, it's all the way dark. Oh, well, I guess it's dark all around us. Yeah, well, the torch only goes out, I think, to 30 feet. All right, well... So what do you do with the goblin? He's still alive. He's still breathing. Do you want to just bring him along? Sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll search him too before we bring him along. We, oh, you find lots of treasures. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you find a rat tail with a red piece of string tied Wait, on it. I should probably be writing this down. down. You find, yes, you need right. to write down the goblin treasures. Rat tail. Uh-huh. With a red piece of string. Red String. It's good for swinging. So winging. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, good. Uh, you find a fishing hook that's been bent straight. Bent hook. Bent straight hook. <laughs> bent straight. Yeah. Right. Right. I got the wrong impression. <laughs> right. Yep. And uh, lastly, you find a um, you find a tin doorknob. Tin. Doorknob. Hey, I have one of those from the last goblin we killed. <laughs> They're treasures. I got my treasure. Okay, so what do you do to the goblin? Do you just leave him there? I, I think we're gonna bring him. If you just leave the him, the dwarf here, will bring him. The dwarf. Yeah, uh, the ecology will take care of the body. The the A wounded creature. He's as good as dead anyway. You've right. Him so we'll take these. him back to town. So uh, the dwarf his tribe won't have him back. The dwarf will just kind of bounce him around on his back. Okay, you'll take him back to town then? 